Hello everyone, I hope you're having a lovely Tuesday. And speaking of Tuesday, let's do a trading card Tuesday. Um, this is kind of a two for a deal. <laughs> um, first, this was a request from the user Sahid Whitehurst. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name incorrectly. It's like Sahid, Sahid. I, yeah, I, I'm, I'll put the link to their channel in the description there. You can read it. <laughs> um, but also, there may or may not have been a game that came out recently from Pokemon called, oh, I don't know, Magikarp Jump, and it may or may not have consumed a lot of my time. <laughs> oh, this game, this game, it's so addicting. And I mean addicting because I have to play a certain amount. It's almost like dependence. <laughs> it's almost unhealthy. <laughs> Um, basically what the game is about is you never evolve your Magikarp. You always have an Everstone with you and you're pretty much, you get a Magikarp, you feed them berries and you train them. Like they have a, a sandbag, they slam, it's so cute. And you put them in jumping competitions and that's basically it. Cause you know, there's that Pokedex entry where it's like Magikarp can leap over mountains. So I I think it's really cute that they designed a game to kind of factor into that and see like how it might, might happen. And yeah, that's what I've been playing for the past couple of weeks. Or has not even been a couple of weeks? I don't even know. It's it's just gone by in a flash. I can't tell you how many Magikarp I have had to retire. And speaking of which, while I was streaming, the story behind this picture is I decided to take a break because, you know, you got to take a stretch break or just a break in general from drawing just to talk to the chat because I like doing that. And I ended up bringing in a new uh, Magikarp and I was like, you know what? We need a nickname because I've been nicknaming all of them. It's getting a bit difficult though after you reach over 50 Magikarp. <clears throat> anyway, so I asked the chat, what, what would you, what would you suggest? And it was a girl. And the first suggestion that comes up is Bob. Um, and, uh, I was thinking, you, you know, it's not, not quite what I was going for, but, <laughs> um, and then I got, so I was like, uh, maybe try like a girl name for now. Cause they, you know, maybe we could use Bob later, but then I get, so the next request I get is Bobette. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, right. <laughs> I eventually go with the name Liliana, which was a pretty name, but then as kind of a joke, because the person who recommended uh, Bob and Bobette was uh, Sam, you know, somewhat yay high, kind of on the awesome side. She recommended those names and I thought, you know what, just because I think I'll name them later. So I did. The first mail I get afterward is a calico pattern and I named him Bob. And then I got another female after and I named him Bobette. So then I told Sam about what happened and she's like, I shipped, or no, I was like, I ship it, but then she shipped it with me. So it's like the ship has sailed. And so now what's amazing is you've got these, this, like this old couple in the pond. That's where I keep the Magikarp and that's where the retired ones go when they have a successful run. And it's so sweet. So yeah, I thought I'd draw them, those two together, and this is so darn cute. Like, I want to send it off, but I want to keep it also. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's get into the drawing itself. Um, I wanted to try and use my Coley Race Prismacolor pencils. I think that worked out really well. The only thing was it was hard to... I had to go back in a few times because the Copic markers really covered up some of the markings and I really wanted them to show through because it's hard to tell. That's one of the only real nitpicks I have with the the card overalls. The pattern kind of on Bob gets lost. So yeah, I go back in a little bit. Um, I also, if you guys want to know how I colored the underwater scene, granted I didn't really, like I see in the bits and pieces I want to fix or in the future because yeah, it's too late to go back now, but, um, if you want to know how I found out how to do that, um, you can watch the video from Art by Karen e. Haley. It's a tutorial. It's not, I don't think she talks over it, but if you, if you speed up the video and just read the subtitles, then it, it, it's good. It's good. 
I'll have to try it again in the future because, yeah, I didn't. There are a couple of parts where I'm like, um, because I'm using Copics, I'm afraid it's going to mess up the piece, and I've already done this much so far. But, I mean, overall, it's okay. It's okay. And besides, you got the blushies, and they just look so happy. I love it so much. <laughs> All right, guys, um, I'm going to try and do one more Trading Card Tuesday video because something kind of big is coming up. There are going to be a little bit of changes, too, in July. So I hope you can look forward to that. But, yeah, thanks again for the request, Saeed. And, uh, thanks, Sam. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you have a great week, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Until next time.